All right, what is up, YouTube? Back at it with another video. And as you can see from the title, Oliver Cabell. Um, long story short, I heard about these this brand um, from like everybody on the internet. I mean, for different people. Uh, but like they're German trainers or something I've been looking at for a long time. And I did, I was able to pick these up, the Oliver Bell, the Oliver Bell, uh, Cabell uh, Gat trainers. I don't know why I keep saying that's like a tongue twister, Oliver Cabell. <laughs> uh, so it comes with a dust bag, uh, normal standard cotton. It feels nice. It feels really, really good. There's a drawstring right there. So you got the Oliver Cabell logo right there, as you can see. And the shoes are absolutely gorgeous. Like these are so nice. I put the box on because I did wear these out already, so I'm gonna put the box lid on them, so I won't be touching uh, the uh, table. But yeah, guys, like these are these are perfect. These are amazing shoe. Um, I think these are a little bit older. I picked these up from eBay for like I think seventy dollars ship, so a really really good deal on these. Could not pass up. Um, the guy said he wore them or tried them on, I think once or twice. They're too big and honestly, they, they are like brand new. I mean, I wore them out, so they're a little bit dirty on the bottom, but like they look awesome. The seller was super awesome. Uh, honestly, I can't believe I was able to pick these shoes up for that, that, uh, that price. But like I said, there's a lot of deals and steals going on around, um, especially in the marketplace and <laughs> like i can't believe so on their website um let's just go over the uh structure of it so basically these are a german trainer and um they're kind of like a tennis shoe type style as well like an athletic like an athletic wear uh, that's what they're made for for the german uh, soldiers so they would this would be their the activity wear running whatever they're doing um so that's kind of cool, like it's just sporty. The shoe is very, very comfortable. Sole is very, very comfortable. I know it's an Italian um, uh, rubber sole. So that is awesome. The also upper is a Italian uh, calfskin. And something is, is this, these feel different. Like these feel really good. The smell on these is incredible. Um, they just feel like, for I think they were like $190 so honestly these are these are awesome for that price point and i'm so excited to have these in my collection um there's nothing i can say that was wrong with them they're so minimalistic i love like i know the mason margellas have like the little hit right there but this is just a clean shoe i love the toe box these do not crease whatsoever i already wore them out and kind of put them through their test, I guess, for a day, maybe eight hours or so. Uh, these just are so comfortable. The bottoms are very grippy. Um, <laughs> I kind of thought that I was like, this is like a, a sneaker, like a um, uh, athletic shoe for sure. It's kind of inspired, like I said, by the German, sh the sole. So if it has any hits to that, these are very, very grippy. Um, when you first put them on and then you walk on, on um, the tile or anything like that, you can instantly feel the grip. So I like that. I love the um, I love the uh, the gum sole. My favorite. Um, I think I, I love just white shoes with gum soles. Those are like my favorite. But I do love the hint of gray. This is a calfskin uh, Italian calfskin um, suede. And I know they were talking about on the website like thirteen, like three ounces um, each panel. Uh, but the, you can just feel the quality on these these shoes. These are just incredible shoes for under $200 or right at $200 with taxes, um, depending on where you are. These are just an incredible, incredible sneaker. And I'm so happy I was able to pick them up for such a great price. Um, I'm not trying to spend money and like, obviously what's going on in the world. Uh, I just want to be smart, but I do need, I've been needing some uh, white shoes and for the summer shoes, I kind of sold all the all my shoes and kind of, um, kind of went through my wardrobe again. I still have the, um, I still have the Thursday shoes and I still have my Yeezys and I picked up these and then as well, if you've seen the video, um, I picked up the greats as well. And I kind of want to do a little comparison between the two. Uh, just, just right off the bat, you can see a little bit of creasing on the shoe right there. 
and on these these bad boys there's nothing so i think the quality the leather not the quality of the leather um maybe a little bit honestly that the smell is different uh these these are these the grades are really really nice and i love them um but i think i love the white i don't know i just love the white silhouette a little bit better uh they both have their kind of aesthetic like i said i think the black grades would go well with um like a black total black outfit but like these white shoes they go good with blue jeans black jeans like these are just a versatile sneaker also too um the insole i didn't notice but on the website they tell they say that it is a full calfskin lined um leather outsole so i'm not sure if any other companies have that type of uh calfskin leather outsole i don't think great states that theirs are and they're pretty much at the same price point right under the 200 dollars price point uh the, these ones are just a little bit more maybe like 10 20 dollars more um I, I think they're they're not having a sale or anything on their website but uh, i think they, this one is an older model i would say because they were i was i heard about the um the shoelaces being a little bit thicker but honestly i actually ordered oliver cabell um shoe tree as well as new laces new white laces so i don't know if i'm going to switch them out because on the website i do see that they are a standard cotton white lace and that could be something i switch them out but like i love this um getting it in hand i love this lace right here it's just a, a thick lace but not super thick and it just looks nice it just looks like a sporty shoe um there's the insoles right there i like to show this um it's pretty thick like i said it's not like um let me kind of compare it to the greats uh since i'm here yeah it's not it's about the same it's about the same thickness maybe this is a little bit this feels a little bit more thick uh just a tad bit um especially on the um the art support i can feel that just a little bit more but maybe that's what you're paying um and i do like the oliver cabell website how they show you a breakdown of how much everything uh costs so then you know basically what the shoe costs to make i think that's pretty cool and transparent i don't see other companies doing that just to show you how much they're i think it was like nine dollars or something like that for just the leather so um i don't know what that means in terms of like quality wise like on i know that has to be like batches like obviously it's just like eight dollars on one shoe it's probably like eight dollars on thousands of shoes they make or however they do the process the manufacturing process but um yeah like i i think for the price for these um, $190. I mean, obviously I got them for a great steal, but, um, these are awesome. Like I might pick me up another pair just to have. Um, but like I said, I don't think the style is going out anytime soon. I think that's what you get when you buy like quality items. They're always going to be there. And, um, yeah, like these are just amazing, amazing shoes. The leather on these, they just smell more premium than the greats it's just a different type of smell of leather they smell really really nice um they're a very comfortable shoe uh it's it's it looks like a low profile shoe but it's not like a vans or anything it's it's pretty it's not like you're walking on the floor or walking on the ground um but yeah i love i love the shoelace on here as you can see i like i like wearing these a lot these are like my go-to summer shoe right now and uh, like I said, I think I'm going to pick me up another pair just to have. Um, so I'll be waiting maybe for another sale for, with all the Caval to have a sale right now. I, I think like if you sign up, you get like $10 or something like that. But um, yeah, I kind of want to try out the other shoes as well because um, like I said, this is like more of a leather and suede shoe. But I like that because the suede won't crease as much. And this white paneling does not crease. Like it looks perfect. As you can see, it looks really, really good. Um, and yeah, I'm just excited to wear, to continue to wear these. I love the German trainers and gats. I love these a lot. So uh, let me know if you guys have this shoe or if you guys have um, different, uh, I know that there's a Beckett Simonon one. I think like with a discount, it's like $120 for their shoes. But then again, you have to wait three months. 
So that's a, if that's something you guys want to do or not. Um, that's kind of cool there. They look really, really nice too. But I think, I don't know, I'm just going on a hunch here, but I think that these are a little bit higher quality than the uh, Becca Simenon. Uh, these are made in Spain. And these are just really, really awesome shoes. Like I recommend these a lot, uh, for, especially for the summer months. They're really thin. The color is really thin. Like you can, I mean, it's not like super thin, but it's just, it just feels really nice and breathable for the summer for sure. So yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section below if you guys have these shoes or if you guys have any German trainers. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.